My graduation project is about coffee and birds. It's a recommendation for the farmers that work with coffee into turning their farms into a more sustainable one. So I pick it initially because of the birds, but I also really like the project because it's working with regenerative agriculture and uh, it works along with communities and it's um, meant to be like a baseline and like a gui guideline for the farmers. Uh, my external advisor was Viviana Ruiz Gutierrez. She is a researcher in the Cornell Lab Laboratory of Ornithology. And yeah, she works with a lot of projects that um, have birds in it. So I had two main research questions. Uh, the first one was an artistic one and a little bit on how to depict the message that I wanted to give in a way that it was uh, interesting and attractive to the, to the people, for the target audience. And the second one was uh, more about the content and how to, um, how to communicate the sustainability message um, in an effective way. All the data I had was photographs that they sent me from the project. And of course, it helped a lot, all the feedback that I was receiving from them. They, of course, are more in contact with the coffee plantation and they know what it looks like, what the birds look like and, and the coffee and the whole landscape. So that helped a lot. So it, was an, it wasn't all, only the pictures, but also their knowledge. There is a lot of meeting in between because, of course, I have a, a perspective and they have also, like, maybe not a perspective, but um, I have expectations and they have expectations and we have to meet in between, so agree on what we want and what we can do. Um, so I work with a lot of different techniques because I wanted to experiment a little bit with them and try to find one that was more suitable for me. So I use color pencils, I use watercolor acrylic pencils, um, acrylic pen paintings and a graphite pencil but with all the techniques, I combine them with digital techniques at the end. The digital techniques help to fix some, some mistakes that I had and, and to make this process of correcting way faster. Um, I think the biggest challenge was the landscape. I've never drawn a landscape before and I decided to do the landscape in a digital, digital technique. So it was, yeah, I maybe did it a little bit harder on me because I've, I am also not that experienced in digital and I was doing both like something I've never done with that technique that I'm not that used to. Um, but I really wanted to do that to push myself and to try new, new things and to discover new outcomes. The, um, the landscape was thought as a um, making it in a vase of a coffee bean because we wanted to, with the, like together with the project, we wanted to have an image that was appealing for the, for the farmers and to have an element that was close to them that they could feel related to. So what we did was put in all the elements of a coffee farm in a coffee bean. So yeah, I think it's quite interesting. Um, so I, I learned a lot about working with people and working with uh, the experts in this case of the, of the coffee farms and of the birds and how to work with different feedbacks and comments that they have on your work. And I also learned a lot on how to um, use different techniques to be more efficient in time to make something that like yeah, fix some mistakes that you have in your illustrations with other techniques that is it doesn't have to be just one technique but you can always solve issues with other techniques in the way. I think um, what the farmers can learn is what practices to take in order to um, make their, their farms more sustainable, but a little bit more specific that, than just saying like, yeah, I want my farm to be better, but exactly what, I, why, what do I have to do to accomplish that? 
So I hope that the, the message that the poster is giving is, is that. I, so I really enjoy drawing birds. <laughs> So I think that was one of the things that I enjoy the most. Mm, I really like to focus on the, on the details of the birds and on the textures, the colors. It's, yeah, I find it fascinating so I can spend hours just trying to, to depict that in my illustrations and making it as, as similar as the reference as possible.